And I realized that life isn't fucking fair. It's not yeah. fair. Mm -hmm. And you better figure out some tools and some ways to stop feeling sorry for yourself because no one is coming to rescue you. No one feels sorry for you. Right. And at the end of the day, no one really cared about me. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. That was the reality of it. Mm -hmm. I had to really invent. I realized I had to reinvent a whole nother human being right. within myself because who I am wasn't going to make it. This, this is not, this guy is not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. So I had, to, I, I had to be a guy who can take any kind of pain, mm -hmm. any kind of suffering, any kind of torture, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I had to have the people who I had to visualize everybody that called me nigger. You had to be in a room of people like this. Mm -hmm. I, had, I had to make up these things in my mind of things I had to overcome. And I, and I started callous in my mind through, mm -hmm. through a process. And it, it, it based on with working out. Mm -hmm. It started with working out. I started with doing like if it started raining outside, for instance, my mind would say, fuck that, man. I don't want to go run. Mm -hmm. If it was three o'clock in the morning, it started raining outside. My mind said, you got to go get run. up and go run. You, you have to because I was fighting this other person. So you essentially tried to do everything you didn't want to do. That's all it was. Period. Yeah. Dot. Everything yeah. I didn't want to do is what got me to where I'm at today. Interesting. Every single thing. So where we find comfort, yeah. that's where I started getting scared. Yeah. When I started saying, oh, it's raining. I'm not going out there. No, you cannot say that. You cannot do that. You you have got to do this. Mm -hmm. The other, so whatever my brain thought, I did the opposite. Mm -hmm. Wherever the comfort was, I went the opposite direction. And over a period of time, boy, it calluses the shit mm -hmm. out of your mind. Mm -hmm. You start to really develop a whole nother being. Mm -hmm. Well, what drove me a lot, and it's kind of funny, um, growing up, being the kid I was, I found strength in different movies. Yeah. So I come home in one movie, I found a lot of strength and it's funny as it may seem, but I visualize this scene. I do it today during the pull-up record. I did 4,030 pull-ups. Yeah. The last time I did it, I actually got it. it. took me three times. I played one song for 17 hours, pretty much. <laughs> it's from this movie, Rocky one mm -hmm. round 14. Mm -hmm. I related to the person in the movie, mm -hmm. but just the one scene when Apollo's beating the shit out of Rocky. He falls in the corner mm -hmm. and everybody in Rocky and, and Apollo turns around, arms up, happy as shit. I, just, I got this guy. He turns around not knowing that Rocky's trying to get up off the, off the canvas. Right. Mickey's saying, Mickey's his trainer Same. saying, stay down. Right. Everybody's saying, you, you, you did good. You did good. You went 14 rounds with, with, with the champ. Rocky didn't hear shit. He got up and what sticks in my mind today, still, and I'm seeing it right now, when he got up, Apollo starts to turn around to see the aftermath of what the fuck he just destroyed. And he did not expect to see what he saw. Right. And what I see of the whole movie, I see Apollo Creed's face. Yeah, fear crept in. Yes. Yep. And I said to myself as a young kid, I want to be that. Mm -hmm. I don't need to win. I don't need trophies. I don't need people to fucking like me. I just want what he has. Yeah. A fictional character, whatever the hell it was, I want that. And I visualize that. Mm -hmm. And I want to become the guy who can get off the canvas and look at somebody who beat the fucking shit out of him. Life. Yeah. I'm talking about life right now. Yeah. And life, even life itself pushed her head down toward Says, David Goggins. Shit. Yeah. This motherfucker is not going to stop. Right. So that mentality became what I wanted. Nice. And that's how it started with that visualization of the canvas. Mm -hmm. And all I got to do is just keep getting up. If you're the leader, it's the loneliest job on the planet. And if you do it, you have to be up early. You right. have to leave late. You got to do the sucky jobs. At least that's how I look at it. Mm -hmm. You got to be the man that is, is, is always the person who's being held accountable to the highest standard. Mm -hmm. And not expecting your people to do anything that you're not going to do 20 times more than they are. Mm -hmm. Even when, even when you're the leader, mm -hmm. and and I and it's, it's it's all about accountability for yourself in, in leadership roles. Not about being pissed because people aren't doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Everybody has different skill sets. Yeah, my mind, body, spirit, everything. For the first time, and it's never happened again since that time. Everything really connected. When mm -hmm. my mind knew he's not going to quit this yeah, race. You have to do this. this yes. Yeah. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Yeah. I gave myself no way out. My mind said, we got, we have to find more. What is your why? My why? What is your why? <laughs> why do you do this? Why do you do what you do? 
Um, my, my why changes a lot. Does it? It changes a lot. But um, right now, my, my why right now is to not lose what I have, to not lose what I developed, to not mm -hmm. lose what it, it took me a lifetime to get where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. And my why is I, I always want to improve myself to improve other people. Right. You know, for a long time there, this journey was lonely. And as I got to the, the top of it, mm -hmm. I, I realized now, looking back, how many people are struggling. Just like me, not everybody had, I mean, I didn't have any tools either. I, I, I had the tools, but I figured a lot of tools out along the way. And now mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's always a good job to go back and give a toolbox to people that, that can, you know, yeah. help them out. Yeah, nice. So if you are not a good individual, if so team is everything. Mm -hmm. But in that team, let's say a boat crew of six people, you have to be a very strong individual. Mm -hmm. And don't always look to be led. Right. And when times are fucking disgustingly hard, that's when that that's that's what I learned. Mm -hmm. I learned it's when it's it's those times when even the hardest motherfuckers in the world are looking around for guidance it's that one mother it's that one motherfucker mm -hmm. be that one motherfucker be that guy be that one motherfucker yeah. when, when even you're saying to yourself boy this fucking sucks i don't want to fucking be here right now and you're looking at all the guys eyes around you and you've seen it yeah oh yeah the eyes just go down like fuck man we're getting the fuck out of here this is brutal be that guy who finds the fucking courage and say you know what man let's do this let's do this so that's what you, that's the one big thing I learned. Be that, be that one of the warriors. Be the one motherfucker that says, fuck it. Yeah, the one guy the who one brings guy. the other that's hundred right. home. Uh, uh, the hundred hard motherfuckers, be the hardest of them all. It's fucking real hard to get uncivilized when you're civilized. Mm. Once you've gone to that place where you have everything a man can want. Mm -hmm. Trying to go back into the fucking gutter, because the gutter is where you fucking get hard. Mm -hmm. You don't get fucking hard outside the fucking gutter, you get hard in the sewer. So, so taking a person, and that's what I realized to myself, I cannot, my, my life is good right now, but I can't let it be too good, ever. Yeah. I had to remind myself that these calluses on my hands come from hard work. And the second your hands get soft, everything else gets soft with Stand it. By. Stand by. Yeah. Stand by. It's coming. So what I learned is like you can have too much. You can't you, mm -hmm. you can have too much. Mm -hmm. And your mind goes with it. I like who I am. And if and if it I'm, I'm not gonna compromise that for anybody. Right. Ever. Mm -hmm. I've worked too fucking hard to finally get somewhere to I can look in the mirror and I'd be like, fuck man. Mm -hmm. I'm not proud of this. Your heroes will let you down. Hmm. Interesting. Your heroes will let you down. One person that you can switch and change is yourself. Mm -hmm. Holding yourself accountable. You be your own fucking hero. And what that means is look at yourself in the fucking mirror. And you're not going to be Tiger Woods. You're not going to be whoever the fuck else you want to be. Whoever your hero is, they're going to let you down. Trust me. They will. We're human beings. Yeah. And you cannot be them. You're not them. Mm -hmm. You got to find your best self. And in doing that, Stop reading books about other people. Stop doing this about other people. Spend time with yourself. Yeah. Spend time with yourself. Be, create your own super being. Yeah. Create your own Rocky. Create your own Rambo. Create your own superhero. And what that means is, I'm my own role model. Yeah. Because when I'm fucked up, I look in the mirror and say, you're fucked up. And we got to fix this now. I can't call up somebody and say, hey, man, you really let me down. Mm -hmm. So I, that's how I believe. I believe in being your own hero and also writing your own book. Yeah. Write your own book. And, I, and my big thing is um, if you're not changing the life, not doing shit with your life.